In this snippet, we're going to enable auto height expansion on a text area when the user types. You might have seen this before. Uh, we have a text area on a page as we start typing, it grows in height. And then, of course, when we reduce what we've typed, it also shrinks as well. So this is very, very simple to do. It can be done just in a couple of lines. And then we'll just kind of refactor this down to a few lines just within a text area just to make it look nice and tidy on the page. So we're starting out here with a fresh HTML document. I've gone ahead and pulled Alpine in here, but that's pretty much it. And I have this open in my browser so we can just see this here. Okay, let's start with the actual text area itself. It doesn't really matter too much what this looks like. I'm gonna skip giving this an ID, columns and rows for now, uh, but let's go ahead and add a placeholder in here. So let's just say type something, just to make it look a little bit more friendly. And that's pretty much it. So the default behavior of a text area, when we start typing, of course we have this kind of inner scroll. And that's really important. We're gonna use that property, that scroll height property, to match the actual height in CSS of the text area. So let's get started. We've got Alpine pulled in. I'm actually gonna pull each of these attributes down to a new line here, just to make things look a little bit nicer. And let's go ahead and start out with our X data. Now, at the moment, we're not gonna do anything with this resize method that we're gonna implement. Let's just log something out for now. So let's just do a console log in here and just say invoked. And what we're gonna do is have this work on initialization of this Alpine component. So we're gonna invoke resize. And we're also gonna have this invoke when we type something. So we can say X on input resize as well. You can also, if you prefer, use at input. I just prefer using the X on prefix here. Okay, let's just try this out. So let's bring up our console and let's just see what happens. So of course that's invoked when we hit this. And when we start typing, that is also invoked. And that includes, of course, line breaks as well, because it's an input event within JavaScript. So now what we want to do is expand the style height of this text area based on the scroll height. Let's look at that scroll height for now. So let's do a console log here. And to access the actual element that this particular Alpine component is on, we can use L, so element and we can just log out the scroll height here and let's just see what that gives us. So on initialization, this is 34, so that's the pixel height of the input. We can just verify that by heading over to our element inspector, coming under computed, and you can see here that sure enough, we've got a height of 30 with two one here for the padding and the border, which of course three uh, on each side makes up six. That's why we get 30, well, we get 34, because of course this isn't, uh, the border isn't taken into effect, but the padding is. That doesn't really matter too much though. We're just kind of uh, figuring out why this is. So let's go ahead and just start to type something, go down, and you can see that as I come down within this inner scroll, this gets bigger. Now we can take this value and we can apply it to the overall height of our text area. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's say L style, and let's get rid of scroll height for now, and set the height on this to the scroll height of that element. Now this won't work because of course what we need to do is append on a pixel value. That's really, really important. Let's try this out and see what happens. So as you can see on initialization, that got a tiny, tiny bit bigger, but let's go ahead and start typing now. And you can see it's kind of working here. It looks a little bit odd. And when we actually reduce the amount of text that we have in the text area, this still continues to grow. Now, the reason for this is we're not resetting this every time we call resize. It's really important that we do that. Let's do that now by just setting pretty much anything we want. You could even set an initial class or set this up however you wanted. Let's go ahead and set this to 40 pixels just as our kind of starting point here. So now I'm gonna start typing, I'm gonna come down a line. Notice that that doesn't start to increase like it did before uh, because we're originally setting this to 40 pixels. But as we start to come down now, you can see this is now expanding. Now, the other reason that we added in this initial uh, reset of the height is because now when we start to reduce this, it's gonna set this to 40 pixels, then it's gonna go ahead and set it to the scroll height. So we're always seeing this kind of reset and then re uh, kept up to date in terms of the actual scroll height that we've got. Now, of course, what you could do as well, if you wanted a little bit of extra room underneath this, you could go ahead and add a value to the scroll height. So for example, you could add on 
20 to the actual scroll height and then append on pixels. Let's go ahead and try that out. So as we go down, you can see we always keep a little bit of gap at the bottom. You don't need to do that, but that's just something that you can do if you need to. So that's pretty much it. It's very simple in terms of the implementation, but uh, what we want to do is kind of reduce this down to one line. Now, of course, what we could do is just pull this all up to one line, and we are going to be doing that. Uh, but what we want to do really is create, instead of this, use an arrow function. So let's use an arrow function here to get this working. And let's pull all this up into one line. Make sure we, of course, end that line there as well. And we can just pull this up to one line inside of here still not the neatest thing but it's nice that we can just attach this directly to the text area and have this work now that's not working at the moment uh, let's just have a look there we go just missed a colon and there we go so that is now working our text area expands to the height of whatever we filled this with using that inner scroll height property and that is it so you can now just attach this to any of your text areas and have this work nicely